the bliss llc hold on so we lost connection hold on I don't know what's going on. Sorry, Virgo. We have a we have a storm or something that's going through here, and so my connection is we have a big storm going through here in Iowa. So just let me know if you guys can't um, hear me. Welcome, Kyle. Welcome, user nineteen. Welcome, TJ. Welcome, everyone. If it's your first time here, Virgo, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And hit the notification bell. I feel like I got dry skin on my lip. And hit the notification bell. And check out my Etsy store. If you like your own personal read, you can always email me or contact me. Okay? The information is in the description. KimmyDG at gmail.com. K-I-M-M-Y-D-A-G. Just like it says in my name. But no three at gmail.com. This will be for the sign of Virgo. Archangel Michael, please protect myself as well as my viewers, cross watchers as well. As we do this reading for the sign of Virgo, you're my last ones for the month. I'm so glad I started this earlier, um, but last but certainly not least, please tap the screen and please, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If um, people, if you're not serious about subscribing to someone then just don't even bother because you're messing with their numbers and whatever energy you put out comes back to you times three so don't subscribe and then unsubscribe if you're not serious that that's just not for me that's for all content creators okay protect myself in the highest white light the golden flame and the violet flame as we do this april 2023 20, reading for any virgo placements or anybody dealing with the virgo let's get into this And take a deep breath in, Virgo. And exhale. Ashe. Namaste. Let's go. Okay, what does Virgo need to know? Um, first of all, Virgo, <laughs> I shuffled from the Karmic Tells deck to get you guys' energy a little bit. Um, you could be, either this is you or whoever you're dealing with, or somebody you could meet. Um, but someone's burning through money. There could be a thief around you or a user around you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be you. And both of these, take what applies and let the rest fly. Not all of this applies, but there's somebody or something that you're going to be dealing with that's burning through money. So uh, make sure that, you know, if somebody asks you for money or something that it's being used for, you know, the right thing. Or this is you. Uh, because the next card that... Somebody is uh, out here choosing unavailable people. Ooh, let me turn that around. So choosing emotionally emotionally unavailable people, and this could be you, Virgo, or the person that you're dealing with. Um, <coughs> maybe <coughs> you're dealing with stuff that happened in the past and stuff, so maybe you meet people that are like that, but you kind of just got to gauge and use your internal guidance system if that's for you. Um, and then <laughs> the persuasion of drugs. Somebody could be, you know, a heavy drug user. Hence that burning through the psychology of persuasion by Robert B. Chia, Cialdini, PhD. There could be somebody that's heavily using drugs around you. Or maybe they try to get you, um, if you're in recovery, get you back on using that stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that, Virgo, to people, please. Mm -hmm. love spells was at the back so I don't know if somebody is performing love spells I hope not like type of mess I don't even know how to perform a love spell what the heck I'm not into that dark stuff okay <laughs> everyone has free will okay so what does Virgo need to know um first of all for moonology we cleanse these I had to open my patio to let some of this energy out because it's just too much okay you can't stay up in here gotta go gotta go what does virgo need to know virgo for april 2020 okay the energy is gaining momentum virgo waxing moon 
please tap the live please share the live guys i'd appreciate it and also um if there's any virgos out there or that you know share this live with them so that they know that i'm live um and also please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel the link is in the bio it takes two seconds to do literally two seconds go to my bio click the link go to my youtube hit subscribe and come back all right love you all so Alexa, what's the spiritual meaning of the waxing moon? From VertiGroove.com, the waxing moon represents growth, personal development, decision making, and progress. Growth, personal development, decision making, and progress. Maybe that's what you're working on right now, or you've come through a lot in your life, Virgo, and whatever it is that you're working on, it says hold your vision, fixed confirmation, the fixed moon. So whatever you're working towards, hold it. Even if there's people that doubt you, know that it's gonna it's gonna come to fruition. And the mutable moon, nothing yet is set in stone. So if you're going through something tumultuous right now, it's just it's just temporary. Nothing yet is set in stone, Virgo. All right, let's keep going. Hold on, let me put these away. Nothing yet. The energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> I love that card. Uh, okay. What does Virgo need to know? Where's that? Oh. What does Virgo need to know that they're working on? Virgo. Oh my gosh, Virgo. Wait a minute. Okay. This is Our Lady of Guadalupe. I think this is prevalent in like Hispanic culture. Somebody could be Hispanic. The Lady of Guadalupe, the Empress of Protection. I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. So if you're worried about like you or your family or friends or something being safe or somebody following you or watching you or you're always going to be protected. Some craziness could be going on around you like this traffic I hear outside from the rain. But you're protected. Let me put this down a little bit. Give me a second. Put it down like that. I, the information is there if you want me to pull a card for you. But other than that, I'm going to keep going. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and then Sappho, the poet is, this kid, I feel like a lot of earth signs are dealing with a lot of earth signs. Or somebody else got this, I love every inch of my body and I love the woman in my life fearly, fierce, fiercely. So maybe... Maybe some of you Virgos have gained weight recently. Um, if you would like a personal read, you can cash at me at Kimberly-Gentry-3. Or not cash at Venmo. Sorry, Venmo me. I apologize. 1111 if you want a question answered. Um, but, yeah, maybe like you guys are, maybe you guys are body shaming yourselves. Or dealing with someone that's body shaming you. I love every inch of my body and I love the woman in my life fierce the women in my life fiercely, so you love hard. And then the last one, oh this is beautiful. Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. So make sure no matter where you're at, who you're dealing with, like I said, like at the beginning when it said that like, someone was trying to persuade somebody to do some drugs or something, I don't know. Well, I don't know why I just heard fentanyl. Like if somebody's trying to persuade somebody to do some type of drug, don't be that people pleaser. If it's, don't do it. Because I, a lot of the Virgos I know work, work in like a field where they're, um, they're in the healthcare field, or they're helping people. Please like, share, and subscribe. And so, like, you don't want, like, something bad to happen and you, like, drop, drop, you know, on a test. Drop dirty. That's what I'm trying to say. And then Dakini, the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason and I trust my intuition to guide me. So, yeah, if something don't feel right, especially with dealing with something, don't do it. St. Bridget, Our Lady of the Exalted, I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. So, like I said, 
Virgo, a lot of you guys usually work in fields where you guys are helping people out. And you give a lot of yourself. But make sure it's out of love. I'm going to read uh, Perpetua. I feel like I should read her. Saint of Authenticity. Because that's what all them cards were saying. Perpetua. <laughs> Not perpetuate. Someone could be around 22 years old. Or the number 22 could be very significant. Um, Perpetua is the Catholic Saint. Bibia. Perpetua shows us the power of authenticity. Perpetua was married, a uh, married noble woman and a mother living the 3rd century Carthage, which is a modern day uh, Tunisia, Tunisia in North Africa. The Roman Emperor Septimus um, Severus forbade any conversions to Judaism or Christianity. Maybe you guys are struggling with your religion. In the celebration of his birthday, several... Um, Catacumens or Christians being instructed in the faith were arrested. Perpetual, along with the pregnant slave named Felicitas, were among them. Those who would not um, renounce their faith were sentenced to the public death in the arena. Oh my god. Maybe somebody's like persecuting you for maybe having a kid out of wedlock because it's not within your religion or something. While Perpetua awaited her trial, she kept a prison diary. The Passion of St. Perpetua has become one of the oldest and most extraordinary early Christian texts. I'm going to look that up and read it. At one point, the Passion Perpetua describes a visit from her father. He begs her to renounce Christianity. She asks him... Alexa just like... Dun -dun. Oh, a severe weather thunderstorm is in effect right now for our area. Dang! At one point in the Passion, Perpetua describes visit from her father and he begs her to renounce Christianity. She asks him, see that pot lying there? Can you call it by any other name than what it is? And when her father answered no, of course not, Perpetua continues, neither can I call myself by any other name than that I am, which is Christian. So somebody could be Christian and struggling with their Christianity or like because you don't, you know, most Christians are I hate to say it, a lot of them are very judgmental, which you shouldn't be judgmental because that's not of the faith. <laughs> Only God can judge me. Is that what Tupac said? So the name Perpetua is derived from the Latin perpetus, meaning continuous. So even her father, even though her father visited her several more times to plead with her to be dutiful daughter, wife, and mother, Perpetua refused to renounce her faith in Christ. And she maintained this truth as a paramount um, at a time when a woman's societal role was defined by her father and her husband. It still is like that to this day sometimes. Her prison diary also relates to her relationship with St. Felicitas and the class structures that Christianity transcends. Even though one is a noble woman and one is a slave, they died in the arena together in 203 CE as equals and as sisters. Wow. And when your soul selects this card, when we find the courage to be true to who we are, a vitality returns to us, a voice that both moving and compelling simply because it's authentic. St. Perpetual words in her very personal and emotional diary were so impactful that 200 years later, the renowned church father Augustine would write about their beauty and their truth. St. Perpetua suggests that there is no greater power than choosing to remain our authentic self in all circumstances. So she didn't give up. She wasn't relentless. She's that person who remains loyal to her soul, and she urges us through, uh, through her example to embrace the power of being authentic now, Virgo. Even in the face of death, Perpetua courageously held fast to her truth that she was Christian. Her right hand reveals the Christ murder. Christ murder. <laughs> uh, the Hierophant. Uh. It's like doing things the right way, like other the normal tarot card that Hydra finds like this. Mm hmm mm, That's the magician. Mm. Well, I'm not using the same deck. I was led to use a different deck with you guys, so I'm not going to take it out. Okay? Anyways. She also reminds us that journal writing can be a sacred act of returning to ourselves, of listening to our soul voice inside. So make sure you're journaling, Virgo, and of going inward to find our answers. Perpetua is... Um, a call to a journal writing practice even if it's just to record our dreams each morning the inner voice that greets us uh, we write strengthens our authenticity that voice becomes a light of fire that calls to us and claims us as we dare to live 
our, live as our truth. Now, I don't know why I did say I had a dream like there, there was like a single dad in my dream raising a baby, but this could be a single dad, Virgo, that's just raising a kid, kids by themselves. Please like, share, subscribe. So here's your soul voice meditation. What is the truest statement I can say about who I am? And here's your intention. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. So maybe there's like people around you, Virgo, that are trying to get you to like, um, you know, they're trying to get you to like change up who you really are as a person, not be your authentic self. Like, for example, like some people think, oh, just because um, I'm a reader and stuff. Um, and I consider myself a Christian, a spiritual Christian. Just because I'm a reader and stuff, but I was I was raised uh, in Christianity, Southern Baptist, so strict. Um, that they're just like, oh, you've denounced your faith. You've denounced God. You've denounced Christ. Not once have I ever said on any lie that I've done that I don't believe in God. Not once have I said, you know, in anything, Virgo, that I don't believe in, you know, me still being a Christian or any of that or I, I've denounced my faith not once so you might be dealing with people like coming at you in your family or your friend circles or just out in public and like people may say little snarky things to you like oh are you doing some devil work today or something just ignorant stuff and they think that just because you're a reader that oh you're worshiping the devil no no that's never been me, never will be me. I am of the light. <laughs> so make sure you're just being your true, authentic self. Again, all information being shared is being shared on the Fair Use and Commentary Doctrine. And I am not a medical professional, so only take what resonates and leave what does not. This is just a peek at what's going on in your life right now, Virgo. Be your true, authentic self. Let's keep going. Because I ain't trying to keep you here all day. <laughs> Um, what is, I don't know why I'm shuffling them this way. What does Virgo need to know, angels, for self-care? April 20th, Virgo. 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 A lot, okay. Somebody could be 38. Yeah, yeah, when did we say the hunter's moon was? In, like, October or something like that? It's in the fall. It's not in August. September, October. The Hunter's Moon could be a significant time for you. Gosh, why did you guys get so many messages? Oh, this is the second time. Because it came out in the Divine um, Feminine that you're home, like you're protected. Where's she at? Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Empress of Protection. I am safe and divinely protected and I'm held in love at all times. But somebody could be around 24 protection is here and that's a girl and she's in i don't know if you can see it she's this is a it's a beautiful card there's a girl and she's like in a nest that's crazy because i just saw birds like flying around outside of the store with their nest despite the craziness and the storms or whatever is going around going on around you that you're always going to be protected that's just it i feel like some of you guys must be concerned about like if you if yeah it's in october in October, that's when the hunter's moon is. So October could be a significant for someone. And someone could be 38 years old. The 24th of next month, so, somebody's worried about, like, being protected or if they're going to be safe. Like, maybe some of you Virgos out there, you know, you never had stability in your life. You never had a stable lover or a stable mother or a stable father in your life. And despite all that, you've always been resilient and able to come through it and so now all that hurt and everything you need to release all that give it give it to y'all god give it to the universe and the new hunter's moon is october 14th and the full hunter's moon is october 28th so those dates could be significant the new hunter's moon is october 14th and the full hunter's moon is october 28th so there's some things that you need to release and let go, like whether it's decluttering in your life or releasing some people or releasing some hurt. Um, 
that others have done to you in the past, like in your childhood growing up, because you've never had any stability. But don't hold on. Don't forget. But try your best maybe not to be like those people that were in your life, but no one's perfect. You can never say never. You can never say, I'll never go through that. I'll never be that person. Because you don't know what type of person you will be if you've never been a mother or a father. Or if you've never had that. You don't know. The 16th of next month could be significant and um, the full moon power is here. So you need to really use that to like manifest what you're, you're bringing in. And the full moon again is tomorrow, guys. So don't forget to set your gemstones out, write your intentions, and all of that stuff, Virgo. Welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. And then it's time for you to have some peace in your life. After everything you've been through, like right now it's very peaceful outside, even though the storm just went through, like, you know, after the storm, the sky is still kind of dark, but then part of it's kind of lit up. But it's just time for you to just have like full, be grounded, your earth sign, Virgo, and just not have to go through all, like, maybe you just need to release some addictions, maybe you need to release some people in your life, so that you can have that peace, setting those boundaries. Dang, you, they had a lot for you at this, oh. This can, maybe you're dealing with a cancer or somebody with cancer in their chart um, and the hot moon and I believe they said the hot moon is in June or July you could be dealing with a Gemini or a cancer look at him <laughs> look, look at the sweat running off his back Ooh. <laughs> hot moon extremes like that's when it's like extreme weather like you probably dealing with a lot of extreme stuff like there was no in between in your life like everything was so freaking extreme <laughs> oh poor Virgo I love y'all oh Virgo I love y'all maybe oh dang Virgo all right let me put this away and keep going <laughs> Again, the 28th could be a significant date or somebody could be around 28 years old. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. So, angels, what else does Virgo need to know about their life for this month, April 2023? Please like, share, and subscribe. <sighs> that extremes also could mean like, go back to that burning through money you be spending too much money or you be doing some hardcore somebody be doing some hardcore um drugs or something oh what is virgo somebody could have an addictive personality virgo april 20th someone's virgo 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 have okay isabella This came out for some, like I said, you could be dealing with the Capricorn or Taurus. This came out for one of them, Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So if there's something that you're thinking about doing, right now is the right time. Hence that full moon energy. And then um, at the bottom it says Isaiah. Somebody around you could be named Isaiah. Or you could like that name. Somebody's name could be Isaiah. Please like, share, and subscribe. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, Isaiah says, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So, like, that protection card. I feel like, yeah, like, a lot of you guys have felt, like, unstable. Or if I, if I do this, then this might happen. Like, this might mess up my stability. If I don't do this, if I don't put up with something... You know, but like some, you got to release that release card that came out. And then Chantel is at the back that says new romance is imminent, either with a newcomer Virgo or with reignited passion in your existing relationship. So be open to giving and receiving love. Okay, Chantel. So maybe some stuff fell off if you're already in a relationship, but if you're not, be open to giving and receiving love if you guys meet somebody new. Please like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just, you know, be a frisky in your current relationship if you're with somebody. If this is a Virgo, that's in a commitment. 
you guys are like traveling, trying new things, experiencing new things. Maybe you guys trying new things in the bedroom. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me put this away. You know how to keep your business clean. Okay. What's going on with uh, Virgo's finances? Virgo's finances. Hold on. I got too much going on in this desk right now. That's why I like... As soon as I like clear, as soon as I'm done with the cards, I'm gonna put away like no release. <laughs> hmm, maybe I need to give some of my decks away and get some new ones. Um. Okay, so we know somebody here or somebody here is burning through money. Somebody here is choosing unavailable people. Hmm. And spending a lot. Um, they told me to use this deck with y'all. Alright. Let's go. Hold on, I'm going to stand up for this part. How does Virgo feel about the person that they're dealing with? Virgo Collective, Virgo Placements, please like, share, and subscribe. How does Virgo feel about the person that they're dealing with? How does Virgo feel about the person that they're dealing with? Virgo Collective. Hmm. You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with, yeah. Because if you look at her or have air in your chart, you have a decision to make with this person, Virgo. You see that uh, tattoo on her, how it's like two scales balancing? Maybe this person either keeps you balanced or makes you tippy tip tip. Which one is it? You know, you have somebody that's like keeping you maybe up in your head or keeping you lost or something like that. Um, and then this Knight of Pentacles is here. Maybe you feel like you could grow with this person. Maybe it was a person when you met them, they didn't have very much, but they're starting to get their finances and stuff up, Virgo. Please like, share, subscribe. Tap the screen, go subscribe to my YouTube, most importantly. Maybe somebody wants to come and move in with you. Or you move in with them. Hence his little satchel on his back. And he's barefoot. He ain't got he don't he ain't got much. But he's a builder. He can build with you that night. He can build with you, okay? You know, someone could be uh twenty around twenty one years old or something, or maybe you met this person when you were twenty one years old. Um, but the world is here, so I feel like you could start like that transformation, that new beginnings, that new life, everything that you wanted, that new love, that new new. Mm. You got a decision to make moving forward. Clarify the two of swords and how. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Well, like I said, the three of cups, like, which some people say, or sometimes I say, you know, it could represent a third party situation or more than one woman in a situation, but I don't think it necessarily represents that for you guys. Um, it could represent like a union, a marriage you know, building together. And then the four of cups is right here. And I um I feel like this four of cups No, I'm not doing free readings. You can ask a question for eleven eleven and you can send it to my um Venmo. Um and I'm almost done with this reading so I'll do it after the Virgos. Um I lost my train of thought. Let me go back. Sorry. Um so maybe like this could have been a person Virgo that you maybe messed up with in the past or they messed up with you in the past and stuff. But ultimately, you guys might be the second best reading. Hold on. Ultimately, 
there's a lot of love here for this person and so you're willing to release and let go of like anything that has happened in the past to like move forward and get this three of cups situation with this person. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, because like maybe it's an equal give and take connection with this person. They give to you and they put as much into you confirmation as you put into them. That's crazy that she that that just came up. Um look up Matthew 21:21. 21, 21. Then Jesus told them, "I tell you the truth, if you have faith in don't doubt you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. Matthew 21, 21. I know that's right. <laughs> Maybe somebody needed to hear that right now. Because it said like, you know, whatever you're trying to start right now is the perfect time to start something. Whether it's love, be open to giving, receiving love. And it could be like an equal give and take connection with this person. Like they they put they pour into you just like you pour into them, Virgo. And y'all about to put your wands together and make it something. Could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, or somebody with that in their chart. How does this person? Hold on, let me move that back so you can see it a little bit better. How does um <coughs> this person feel? about Virgo. Oh. Oh. They feel like, they, like I said, you could be dealing with the air sign, a Libra. They feel like you're very fair. You're very balanced, grounded. And you probably could keep them grounded. Keep them on the right track in life. Hence why this knight was here, you know, and like I always say, like, if you get a right knight, they will help, you know, plant seeds of abundance. They will help bring people into your business if you have one or just, you know, the right people around people that, you know, they're like a lucky person kind of, you know, like someone that helps you manifest and grow something. Like I said, it could be somebody that you're dealing with that when you met. Or when you meet them, they don't really have much. But down the line, you guys could both have a lot together. Hence this Queen of Pentacles sitting here at the back. I know that's right. Go, Virgo. <laughs> they can make you into the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, you're grounded and you're nurturing. You handle your business. How else does this person clarify justice feel about Virgo? How do they feel? Like, you like keep them on track, Virgo. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you both are in a situation where you both started from the bottom. Maybe you guys are thinking about like investing in properties together, moving in together, um, moving to a new place, like a new home and stuff together and stuff like that. Like, you both may come from a place where you don't have much, but you guys are building a lot together, experiencing new things together and stuff like that. <sighs> this could have been a person that you got away from them or they got away from you. Um, and they was like, no, I'm coming. <laughs> and they, they relocated and moved to where you are. <laughs> they could drive a motorcycle. Look, hence this fiery page of wands. They see you like you have a lot of fire in you to like succeed and be successful and and stuff like that. And you have a lots of ideas and stuff you want to get off the ground. And that's why that card said, you know, right now is the perfect time. You're going to be protected. Please like, share, and subscribe. You have lots of good ideas, not just ideas, like good ones. Good business plans. What's the overall... Clarify this night and how they feel. Hold on. Clarify this night and how they feel. Clarify this night and how they feel about Virgo, Virgo Collective. How does that person feel about them? Mm. Maybe, like, you broke up with this person or broke it off with this person, but, like, you, you're, you're transforming. 
like you stopped something with them and like you were gonna start it again with them like you're gonna give them another chance since this queen of cups like a loving person takes care of the family kids homes does it all takes care of work all responsibilities like or maybe they feel like you're gonna end it with them and start something with somebody else or whatever you guys... Ooh, there's another one that flipped. Oh, Ten of Swords. I was going to say, um, the death and rebirth also could mean, like, you're, Virgo, you're going to, like, maybe end something with this person, but not end it in a harsh way. Like, you're going to end it, hence why the death was there with the Queen of Cups. Let me make sure my chair is still covered outside because it is coming down. Yes. I just had to make sure. So, um, maybe, like, if you end something with this person, Virgo, like, you're going to end it maybe with them, but you're going to end it, like, out of a good place. Like, with love. Because you need to, like, start something new. This was the other one that was turned around. Because it shows a girl walking away. You're going to end it with love, but it's because not all because of them. It's because, you know, hey, I'm a cancer, too. Um, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's the Queen of Cups. You're going to end it with love, but it's not necessarily because of something like for them. It's like something that you have to do for yourself. You're choosing you to like be the rising phoenix, walking your power. And the strength card is at the bottom. They know that you're a very strong person. Somebody could have like a pendant that's a heart like that. You may have Leo in your chart. And like. You're waiting for, like, something great to come in, like, your ships to come in. Look at, she, somebody could live on a beach or be traveling to a beach or something and be a surfer. You're choosing to, like, move forward. Three of Wands. And I'm not sure if that's you moving forward by yourself or with someone else. People say us cancers are mean a lot. We're not mean. We just are blunt and tell it like it's he I is. Now cancer men are different from cancer women. <laughs> okay. We're not mean. Anyways, this is for 18 and older. If you're not 18 or older, get your butt up out of here. Alright, what's the um obstacle in Virgo and this person's connection? the Empress card. Oh. So, I feel like the obstacle is if you want to marry this person or not. If you want to keep nurturing this connection. Look at that card. It's so beautiful. If you want to keep... Somebody could be having a baby. If you want to keep like allowing this to grow into something, flourish into something... Hmm. Hence this eight of wands at the bottom. If you want to still put put your cents with their two cents, you want to put your 50 cents with their 50 cents and make a whole dollar? <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy like this. Try to make a dollar out of 50 cents. Maybe they watch how you walk. They watch how you sleep. If you're really getting what you deserve, this Queen of Wands, somebody can have short hair like that too. Is that the back? So I don't feel like the Empress is kind of like someone that's birthing something new, somebody that's growing something, something that's transforming into something great. I don't feel like that, that really is an obstacle. <laughs> it's like, are we going to do this or not? <laughs> Clarify this obstacle for the Empress. Clarify the obstacle. That's too many cards. No, I'm not taking all those. Because the world popped out. The Seven of Swords, are they going to stab you in the back? The Ace of Cups, are we going to enjoy this family? 
Ah, six of cups. Okay, that was too many. Give me one card. Clarify this obstacle for the Empress. Yeah, are you good? You hear that rain? Clarify this obstacle for the Empress. Yeah, like, are you guys going to start a family and a life and all that together and grow something? The obstacles are we go. We are family. Somebody could have a dog or a big dog like that. Not necessarily a golden retriever, but maybe you guys are going to have a son together in the future. Maybe you guys want a son together. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Like, are you going to cut certain things out of your life? Look at the King of Pentacles is at the back and the Queen came out at the front. Like I said, the night or you guys could have both be in something that, you know, just started off as not much, but it could turn into something, Virgo. The wolves are like in a pack. Wolves are like loyal. Not necessarily somebody that that has a hair facial hair like that, but they might have like a goatee or something. Mmm. Mmm. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again. How, what's the overall of this connection? Or did I ask what advice? Let me ask again. I said the advice was six of cups. Are you going to do this or not do this? What's the overall of this connection, Virgo, or their person? What's the overall? Okay. But overall, let me put this down. The overall, I feel like of your connection is like, are you gonna ex are are you guys gonna accept each other's love offer? The Ace of Cups, which turns into two, the three, a union. Are you gonna accept this person's love offer? You know, and decide to move forward. The 18th of next month could be significant as well. The moon card is here, Pisces, and energy. Like, you guys both are scared. You don't know where this, like, love is going to go. If it's going to turn out to be a flop. Or, I don't feel like it's going to be a flop, Virgo. Yeah. And um, then the second just passed, but something could happen in two days. Like, like I said, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Libra to my Aquarius. Like, if you, like... If you both move forward and, like, use your intuition, I feel like <sighs> something great could come of this. That Queen of Swords is there. Oh, the op, like, <sighs> the Seven of Swords is at the back. And that's usually somebody lying and cheating and trying to get away with something. And maybe that's your obstacle. Maybe this person cheated in the past or recently. I don't know. I don't know your life story. Are they going to stab me in the back again? Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Are they going to be lying and cheating about stuff and trying to get away with it and hiding it from me? And then I'm going to have to become this queen of swords and match their energy and cut them out of my life? Ugh. Clarify the overall of this connection. Ugh. Look, the king of pentacles. <laughs> I feel like this is a connection where somebody like learned from their past mistakes with you, Virgo. They learn, like, from whether it was, like, I don't think, feel like, it's necessarily, like, deceit with, like, sleeping with somebody else or cheating with somebody else. It could be deceit, like, within your finances or something like that. Or if they did, some people consider cheating as, I don't know why this is coming out, like, in my head, like, going out to lunch with someone or going out on a date with someone. Somebody consider that cheat. Some people may consider that cheating, but I think you guys are coming to... Could be a Leo Aries or Sagittarius, or you have that in your chart. Truth and clarity on like that aha moment and that epiphany moment. That okay, this could really be something. And you might be a little guarded still. Uh, where's my other? Where's my other deck? Hold on one second, Virgo. Let's get to the truth. Like I'm supposed to use this one with you guys. I don't know why I'm getting different decks out for y'all, but I feel like I'm supposed to. Come on. This is Evolving Goddesses deck. She comes into my life sometimes. She's she's here 
on um, TikTok and she's on YouTube. She comes to my YouTube lives. I love using this thing. Why don't I take this out and third party is there? <laughs> Like, is someone sneaky? Oh my god, no. Maybe they were like that in the past, I don't know. Let me see. How does this person feel about Virgo? That you are a hustler and you're about your money. And you're not about having distractions in your life. That rain is loud. Why did I turn off my internet? You're a hustler. They feel like you guys are really good friends. This could be somebody that's your friend and it turned into something else. That this could be like your best friend, your forever person. <laughs> that's how they feel about you. You were about getting that paper, your paper chaser. And you're about really building friendships with people. It could be someone new. Do you hear that hell? Someone new. Focus my screen. Not necessarily. Oh, they might come and surprise you with something, Virgo. Those are big hell balls. Dang. How does Virgo feel about this person? Oh. You feel, you feel very comfortable with this person. You feel like they protect you. Oh, and this came out too together. They're your twin flame, like your soulmate. Not all twin flames are good, no. Some are toxic and karmic, but I don't think that's this, that's this toxic situation. Like, for example, uh, Jaguar Wright and Goomba are twin flames, but they are like horrible. <laughs> like, a toxic, you know, sometimes twin flames are people that come into your life to teach you lessons. So you can stop going through those same cycles with other people. But this is like a good twin flame connection. Look at all the colors in that fire. It could be a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius or somebody with that highly aspected. Do you like they feel you feel comfortable with them? Oh, but still, there's that sneaky card right there. I don't know. This is not everybody's story, so just take what resonates and leave what does not. You know, some people may feel like... You may feel like they're being sneaky or something, but this is someone that you have. You feel like you could have a relationship with, definitely. What's the obstacle of this connection? Virgo and this person ask again. What's the obstacle of their connection? Actually, it's Evolving Goddess 444. That is her name on here and on YouTube. So, distance came out. So, you could have a long distance relationship with this person or not be in the same, you know, vicinity as them. Maybe you guys need to move closer to each other. It, that's how it looks distance maybe you know some people need their person they don't do good with long distance relationships me I don't think I would mind I just would they just have to travel to me cause I ain't traveling unless you come and get me and we go back I ain't driving on nobody's highway but I'll fly <laughs> it's my anxiety that's what it is I've been in some car crashes okay um, but the obstacle is distance and at the bottom is if you guys are gonna like family start a family with each other maybe one person has to move closer to somewhere because they have kids with someone else or something I don't know but you guys at the same time are trying to start a life of your own together um, and there's gonna be lots of changes going on lots of changes in your life and in this relationship like that card said right now if you try to do something or change something right now is the perfect timing to do it Virgo. Use that full moon energy, which is tonight and tomorrow. Actually, you can use the full moon's energy three days before, so you could have used it the last three days, and three days after. So you have tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's the last day at the end of the full moon's energy. 
So um, this clock says 7 o'clock. So 7 o'clock a.m. or p.m. I don't know. Could be a significant time. Why are these cards in here? These are not supposed to be in here. What the heck? Somebody could be going to jail. <laughs> oh, God, no. There could be another woman. I don't know. I don't know how these cards got in here. And somebody, like, that card that came out at the beginning, like, overspending, like, anything I want. There could be somebody that likes, like, to spend money a lot. <laughs> anything I want. Some Prada other. I don't know why that was in here. And I'm glad I saw them. Ooh. I can't tell what's going to come out and when. I don't know. So. What advice do you have for this obstacle? I feel like you guys are going to win together. Look at I want you. What advice do you have for the obstacle? Oh, no. Somebody may walk away from this connection or try to walk away. Or they're saying walk away from this connection or maybe walk away from something else. But there's that surprise card again at the bottom. Ugh, it's a puppy love and it's a crush. This is somebody new. Or somebody that you have a lot of like, they make you give you that tingly feeling on the inside. No matter how new or old it is. Clear it by walking away. This is not for everybody. Some people need, may need to walk away, but it, maybe that goes back to that release card in the Orco. That game playing in cycles. Um, what advice do you have for the obstacle? Clear it by walking away. It's complicated. It's complicated. Oh, contemplation? Somebody, they're like, quit being in contemplation and just make the decision because I was in reverse on my foot. Mm, it's not complicated. Don't be in contemplation. Somebody is really thinking about maybe if they're going to leave this connection or they're really thinking about it. Ugh. And I want you is at the bottom. Please like, share, subscribe. Again, I want you. Somebody is really focused on their money right now. And I think that came out for you, Virgo. They said you're a go-getter. You're a hustler. What's the overall of this connection? Maybe somebody could walk away because the distance is not working. What's the overall of this connection? Look, look at how it's in my freaking thing like that. Look, somebody's very determined. Whether that's a man that's determined to get you or a woman that's determined to get you. Somebody's trying to go after their dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Look, focus on money's at the back again. Clarify determine. What's the overall this connection? Maybe you guys are determined to make this work, hence that strength card. Clarify determine Ooh. Ooh. okay some first this is this is for a specific set of Virgos um the game playing in cycles was here I said that earlier just a little bit ago but it was in reverse so like somebody doesn't want to play games in I don't wanna play no games, play no games. Maybe somebody don't wanna be playing no games anymore. It's that death and rebirth. Somebody's going through like an awakening. They don't wanna play games anymore. They don't wanna go through the cycles anymore. And that might be what that walking away was. Somebody feels trapped. That's like that eight of swords in reverse. Like they feel bound. Oh, gosh. Because somebody might be sneaky. Oh, my gosh. Why is that at the back? What was the last one? That 
Clarify the cycle, the closing of the cycle. Somebody's like, I'm closing out this karmic cycle. Clarify the cycles that was in reverse. Game playing. Clarify this game playing. Somebody's waiting on their forever person, or they're waiting for you to give them another chance. They're waiting. This is the second time, or second time. It came out over here at the beginning when I persuasion on drugs and stuff there's somebody that like has an obsec obsession and addictions and remember addiction can be to a people place or a thing it can be to sex they can be to shopping it can be to drugs it can be to alcohol it can be to being a people pleaser having a harem of men or women around you they have a, some kind of addiction and obsession <laughs> somebody likes the intimacy What's the overall of this connection with Virgo? What's your advice you have? One more, then I'm done. What's the overall advice you have for Virgo and their person? This is crazy. Some people, this is new love. And some people, this is old love. So take what resonates and leave what does not, please. What? There's a family-oriented person, like maybe a man that has a little girl that they really focus on. But I don't think that's the overall this connection. <laughs> Maybe that's why you fell in love with this person. Because they're like all about the... There's lies here. <sighs> you guys are mirroring each other. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> What's the overall? Give me one more. <sighs> they handle their business. Ugh. There's somebody that's sneaky here. I don't know who it is. It could be a woman or a man. But there's somebody that's being sneaky here. Look at her, how she's looking at his phone. Like, what's he texting? And somebody's going to get a message. That page of pentacles coming and offering you something. But you have to have boundaries because this says no boundaries. So clearly this is a person that doesn't have boundaries. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is crazy. I'm sorry, I need to dig deeper. Give me one more for the overall. What's sneaky? What's sneaky? What's sneaky? Look, cheating and deception. What's sneaky? Somebody has a lot of pride. <laughs> they can't drop their pride. So maybe there's somebody that doesn't want to, in the past they messed up, in the past they cheated, in the past they messed up, and they can't admit or take accountability. They're not giving me all the answers. They're like, you got to figure it out. You might be going and dating other people. Or they might be dating other people. Look, there's that no boundaries. Someone doesn't have no boundaries. I'm not taking anymore. I don't know. Take what resonates and leave what does it. That's crazy. So There's a set of Virgos here that, you know, it's going to like... It could grow into something great, but then there's a set of Virgos here that is either doing the cheating or they're being cheated on and have some deceptive people around them that have some crazy addictions and and someone's going to choose to leave because they're waiting on their forever person. And you may meet them. Whoa. Let me get one. Virgo. Overall, there's an extra. Be gentle with yourself, Virgo. Now is the time to plant some stuff. If you're a plant person, some of you guys may have lots of plants in your house, some succulents. <coughs> Be gentle with yourself at this time because you're a delicate flower. Somebody may wear your head wraps and be very annoyed by someone else. Oh, my God. And someone is about to make their final move. Someone's playing chess and the other person's playing checkers. They don't want to lose. That's probably it. They don't want to lose you, and that might have to do with that, like, dropping in their pride. Somebody is very prideful. You could be dealing with a Leo or someone with that in their chart. Like, they don't want to drop their pride. They're very stubborn. And so they're like, mm-mm. And again, like I said, if it's someone that you feel like may have some mental, look, someone's transforming. Some mental, you know, imbalances. I'm not a medical friend, though. Make sure you get, you know, somebody to go with you to, like, walk away from this situation, whether it's a police escort or whatever, or do it in silence. Because 
I'm tired of people taking people up out of here just because they can't get what they want. That's just crazy. Like, there's billions of people in this world. And that has to do with their own insecurities. Like, why they won't release somebody and let them go. If they want to go, just let them go. Don't let a man or a woman tell you more than once that they don't want to be with you. Just let them go. And you'll find somebody else. But you can't repeat those cycles, though. You have to, like, remember what you did and take accountability for your actions on why something didn't work out in the past. Because it's not always one-sided. It's not always on one person. Somebody may feel triggered. Oh, God. Gosh. Somebody wants to be committed. You may have new chemistry with someone. You might find your king and your queen. Oh, but then there's somebody that says slow, not ready. They ain't ready. And there's that no boundaries. There's somebody that don't have boundaries. They think they can just show up at your house whenever they want to. <laughs> Go through your stuff. See who you talk. Oh, my God. Who is that? I don't know. That sounds crazy. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like your own personal read, contact me. I do do pre-recorded readings and send them over to you if you need that. That's crazy. Crazy old Maurice. Crazy old Maurice. That's nuts. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. We are growing slowly but surely. <sighs> Let me take these off. And I got my other royal gift from Helios. And the Helios might still be live right now. I'm not sure. But um, in Queen Sassy, this is how it came. Like this. Isn't it so cute? Now let me be careful taking this. Uh, removing these. So they don't fall apart. I don't even know how Helios got them in there like that. Like, what the heck? How did he get those in there? It has lavender on the front. All pretty. Hold on. I feel like I need to, like, protect these. Look at my hawk feather that I found in right before the winter. Outside my house. It's like, they just dropped it for me. I feel like this needs to be a pin or something. Isn't that huge? My spirit team loves me. <laughs> they love me. My dogs led me right to it. I was like, what? No way. I've been wanting a hawk feather this big for like, I want to say two or three years. And I finally got it right before the winter time came. But I got this uh, for my altar. I already got the little one over there, but I wanted the big one too, so that she sent me the big one that I bought. So I have a big one and a little one. Thank you, Queen Sassy and Helios. I got like the last one. Follow Queen Sassy, she's on, on here, and Helios as well. Helios, H-E-L-I-O-S, he's on here too. Oh, this one is so pretty. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm scared. There's the inside of it. Kind of reminds me of Carmex. Here's Queen Sassy, the royal gift. Queen Sassy and Helios is, um, Helios is one person. And Helios, there is a person that's fake trying to copy copy Helios here on TikTok. So do not, and they, Helios will never reach out to you, and make you pay for a reading or anything like that. I needed to say that uh, because this person is like trying to ask people to pay for readings. Helios gives free readings every single day on TikTok. But, so make sure you're following the right one. That's Helios, and there's Queen Sassy's uh, name. Follow them both. Oh, this one is so beautiful. 
Oh. And what did she say it was made out of? Pearl glass. It's a pearl glass jar. Oh my god. There's the big one. Oh, this is so pretty. I can't wait to add this to my altar. Oh. Sometimes if you do stuff for your spirit guides, they'll do stuff for you. Okay. There's the big one. Let me get the little one. This is so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. Pearl glass. This is the little one. And these cute little boxes. Like, what am I going to do with those? Here's the little one. There's both of them right next to each other. She did such great work on this. Helio sends her like a, he sends her like a box like this. It is decorated and it has just random stuff in it. And then like Queen Sassy takes it and creates something with it. And I think that's really cool. And then they have a collab and Helio doesn't take any of the, the funds made from it. It all goes to Queen Sassy, but I love these. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. This one has like more green on it and this one has more blue on it. Which will go perfect in my house because it's decorated like the ocean. Oh, thank you so much Helios. Thank you so much Queen Sassy. There goes their information again. Follow them on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you so much for these gifts. Oh. I'm in love. All right, ancestors, thank you for the messages, spirit guides, angels, for um, my Virgos. I will upload all of these readings tomorrow on um, YouTube. I'm not sure when they'll release, um, but these will all be on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Um, and if you check out my Etsy store, it doesn't have everything that I have in my Etsy store, but if there's something specific that you're looking for, let me know because Etsy charges you for everything that you put up and I don't want to put too much stuff up and then have more money going out of my pocket than it's coming in. But a lot of people buy uh, readings from me through my Etsy store and then we just do them on um, Facebook Messenger. Or if you have Duo, I'll do it on Duo, you know, um, and call you on Duo and get it done. Oh, this is going to be so perfect on my altar. Oh my God, look at that. I love this feather. So big. All right, let me get up out of here because I'm hungry and I want to relax and release some of this energy out of my house. I will see you all later. Thanks for everyone who joined me. I appreciate you all. And you guys have a good one. Thank you, guys, sisters. Let's do a scene, but check us out. Release Virgo. The pain, the hurt, everything. Let's go. Ashe, namaste. I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Love you. Peace. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.